Hello and welcome to another video on Python programming. In this uh, brief video, I will explain what we call the type hierarchy or the standard type hierarchy in Python. It, it's also known as the data model in Python and it probably has other names. So essentially in the, what we do or what we speak about in this is uh, how the different types that we use in Python are categorized and classified and what are their subtypes. So it's important to note before we continue further that there in future versions of Python, there might be new types that are introduced or the existing ones may be modified. But it's safe to say that what I will speak about in this video will still form the core of what we call Python standard type hierarchy. So let's begin. So the first type is the none type. Uh, it's accessed through the built-in name none. Its truth value is false. It's essentially used to denote um, functions or it's, it's returned as the value for functions that don't really return anything. So if you have an expression or a function that returns no particular value, you actually get a data type called none. That is how Python uh, interprets it. Uh, then there is the ellipses. Uh, ellipses is something that you might encounter later. Uh, it is accessed through the built-in name ellipses. Um, it is used to indicate the presence of this particular um, syntax, this particular symbol or expression uh, or syntax in a slice. Its truth value is true. Again, don't worry too much about ellipses right now. Next is numbers. And numbers is something that we are very familiar with. We have seen, we've worked with numbers a lot. They are an immutable type. They are created through numeric literals and they are the outputs of arithmetic expressions and built-in arithmetic functions. Its subtypes are integers, floating point numbers, and complex numbers. Um, within integers, you have plain integers that represent numbers in the range uh, this number and this number. So this, this number is basically the largest positive value that you can represent using 32-bit notation in two's complement. And this is the equivalent uh, for the, the, negative, the negative side. Long integers, on the other hand, are used to represent numbers in an unlimited range that is only subject to the available memory of your system. So these are two types of integers. And as we know, floating point numbers represent machine level double precision floating point numbers or numbers with a decimal point and a component after that. Complex numbers are numbers that contain a floating point number that represents a real part and a floating point number that represents a an imaginary part. So these are the types of numbers. Then we have sequences. Sequences are finite ordered sets indexed uh, by natural numbers. So each element in a sequence has an index and that index is a natural number. The different types of sequences are based on the mutability, whether the objects can be changed or not is essentially what we mean by mutability, right? Once we create an object, whether we can modify it or not, uh, that is how we differentiate different types of sequences. So there are uh, mutable and there are immutable types. Now uh, the different types of immutable ones are strings. We know what strings are. They are sequences that contain characters. Unicode is the other immutable sequence. And then there are tuples. Uh, tuples are a collection of arbitrary Python objects and unicodes are uh, sequences that contain Unicode characters. Then we have mutable sequences and uh, there is only one, currently there is only one built-in uh, mutable sequence in Python and that is lists. Uh, lists are also, again, collection of arbitrary Python objects. Finally, we have, uh, well not finally, but next we have mappings and mappings are, uh, again, um, sets of uh, objects but these objects are now indexed using arbitrary index sets, you know. The difference between a mapping and a sequence you could consider um, sequences are ordered, but mappings are not ordered. And uh, the indexes given to the objects in sequences are always numbers. They're natural numbers. Whereas in mappings, they are not natural numbers, but they are uh, certain arbitrary objects that we can set for ourselves. Again, in Python, there is only one built-in uh, standard uh, mapping type, and that is the dictionary. Dictionaries are, they, are, they represent finite sets of objects indexed by nearly arbitrary values. The only condition is that these indexes must be of an immutable data type. So these, uh, so what I have mentioned until now are probably the most common data types that we encounter uh, or that we have encountered now. The next types are like, 
callable types such as user defined functions, user defined methods, built in functions, built in methods, classes and class instances. So again, callable types as a whole are uh, referenced using the call function and this is something that we will learn when we start learning about functions, when we learn about object oriented programming uh, and methods and functions and such. The other type are modules. So modules are uh, module objects or modules essentially are referenced or called using the import function. Again, modules can be considered as these large libraries or larger pieces of code or applications that we uh, that contain various different methods and functions and objects and classes within them. Um, again, modules are something that we will think about a little later. Files are data types that are called using the open function. So anytime we and as we will during the course of this uh, tutorial, we or during the course of this uh, this this course essentially we will be working with a lot of files these some of these files are text files some of them are comma separated files so all of these files that we open using uh, the function open or some other certain uh, specific functions uh, where we create file objects out of these files these are what we call file data types uh, finally there are internal types that are used by python interpreter again this is something that uh, does not concern us right now but just know that uh, the interpreter for Python uh, uses these uh, data types for its functioning. So this was again, this was a very brief um, introduction or explanation into Python uh, type hierarchy. And uh, as always, if you enjoyed this video, if you learned something from this video, do drop us a like and subscribe to our channel. This helps us a lot. And once again, thank you for watching.